guys. So today's class is called Detox, Twist and Release. And it's all about twists. And I want you to start the class by coming onto your back in any comfortable position. Maybe that's Shavasana with your hands by your sides, or maybe it's reclined Baddha with your soles of your feet together and your knees coming out. And you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna start as always by finding that connection. Connect to the breath, connect to your body. Take a big breath in, breathing from the root of the tummy, feeling the stomach balloon out, feeling the ribs moving in all directions and then breathing all the way up to the collarbones and exhale, let it go. And again, breathing in through the nose, into the belly, into the chest, all the way up and exhale, let it go. Your eyes aren't closed already, gently blink them closed now and continue to connect in just that way to the breath, breathing in through the nose and exhaling either through the nose or the mouth, finding what feels right for you right now. And starting the class today by a simple but powerful quote from the incredible Maya Angelou. You alone are enough. You have nothing to prove to anybody. Such a powerful reminder. And maybe use it as your mantra today every time you come into downward facing dog. Repeat to yourself, you alone are enough. We often give ourselves such a hard time and reminding ourselves of this fact can be very powerful. So, Continue to find that connection. Notice, are you holding tension anywhere in your body that you can let go of? Notice any emotions you're holding onto them. Can you lean into them? Can you breathe into them? Simply be that witness. And to give you a little bit of a feel about the class today. So it's all about twists, but maybe changing up the way you think of twists a little bit. So instead of cranking our, ourselves into poses, like using our hands to really get a powerful twist, we're not gonna do that so much. We're gonna use more active strength, using the muscles that twist us to strengthen them, not just stretch them, which is kind of what it does when you pull yourselves into twists. And we're also gonna be thinking, when you think of a twist, I kind of want you to reframe it. Think instead about axial extension, so creating space in the spine, and then rotating. And imagine your spine is like a spiral staircase as you rotate, because our, our different areas of our spine moves differently. So our cervical spine, our neck, has the most rotation. Our upper back, so our thoracic spine, because of the ribs, it still has a lot, but it has slightly less than the cervical spine. And then our lumbar spine at the bottom of our back has the least rotation, only about 5%, just of the work, the anatomy of the spine, the facet joints, that's what, um, that's, that's, <laughs> that's how we move. So what I want you to think about is when you twist today, think about going up that spiral staircase and notice, uh, is it all in your neck? Can you bring it more evenly through the spine? So without further ado, we're going to move. But before we do, just a reminder, guys, you know your body best. Please never work through pain. Yoga should not be painful. Modify as you need to. Come into child's pose if you need and take any modifications which feel right for you. Listen to your body. So wherever you are on your mat, keep your eyes closed. Bring your hands over your heart. Rub your palms together. Create some heat between the palms. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale it out through the mouth as you bring that heat onto your heart. Set an intention for today and maybe it's that simple reminder. You are alone are enough. Sorry, I ruined that. You alone are enough. Gently bring, blink your eyes open. Take a little smile and wherever you are, come into, a, get ready for a bridge pose. So bring your feet a hand's distance in from your body. Bring your brain into your glutes. Make sure your glutes are firing. Turn on that kind of idea of the web of your core so everything's engaged. Hug the hip bones towards each other. Lift the pelvic floor. Lower belly hugs up and in. Ribs draw down and you lift up bridge pose. Keeping a nice length in the spine. So drawing, wrapping the glutes down and making sure you can give them a poke. Making sure that those glutes are on, are firing. So... Start the classes always in this way, lighting up the back body, lighting up the front body. 
because it means that we move from this place of strength and stability. It neutralizes our pelvis, it's really important. And so we're gonna move around the mat even better. So holding it here, you're gonna to start to gently take some pulses and you can reach your arms up, take hold of your right fingers and grab them back, pull them back with the left fingers, stretching through the wrist, through the forearms and keeping that connection. Notice you flaring your ribs, can you draw them in? Keep your brain in your glutes. And you can even have a feeling of pushing down through the heels and pulling them back towards you. Notice how that lights up the whole of the back body. And gently release the fingers, take hold of the left fingers on the other hand and breathe here, breathe into the wrist. Taking a moment, pulsing here for three more, for two more and one. So keeping the hips up, First of all, take your right foot in towards the center of the mat and lift your left knee. So you can have the leg bent or stretch the leg high. You're then gonna bring your arms up and over your body. And your hand, your left hand is gonna take hold of your right wrist, wrist. And you're gonna kind of pull up. So creating length through the spine and pulling that hand away. Be wary that left hip will wanna drop. So keep the pelvis nice and neutral. Create that length through the side body. And then exhale, left foot comes down. Right foot lifts, either knee bent or leg straight. And then take hold of the left wrist and pull the left wrist away, creating space. So remember this movement because we're gonna do it again in a moment with our abdominals. And you are really gonna feel it. So keep connecting to the core, breathing here for three. Pulling that wrist away for two and for one. Your right foot comes down. Slowly, mindfully come all the way down onto your back. Bring the hands by your sides and grab your block. I should have said you need a block for this class. If you don't have one, you can grab a cushion or something like that. If again, you don't have one of those, then don't worry. You, don't, you, 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 can, you can do it without a block. But it's quite nice to put the block between the thighs, either on the skinniest legs or the next one up and you're gonna lift your legs straight up towards the ceiling, either with straight legs or you can have a bend in the knees as well. So, be mindful if your knees come back too close, just bring them so they're stacking over your hips. It can usually mean your hip flexor is a bit tight if that happens. Okay, so you're gonna bring your hands and you're gonna basket your hands around your head. Take a big breath in, your elbows come in, exhale, you lift. Gaze down at your pelvic area. Squeeze the block, squeeze the sit bones towards each other. And think about that web of the core. Keep lifting the shoulder blades, then inhale, release. So we add on. Remember, you can stay at any of the other levels if you want to, and if it gets too much, just drop the feet to the floor. Inhale, elbows come in, exhale, you lift. Draw everything in, breathing here. Squeeze that block, squeeze the sit bones. Inhale, gently release. Exhale, you lift. Squeeze the block, lift through the tailbone and then lift your left hand high. Reach up towards the ceiling, keep lifting off the um, shoulder blades. Breathing here, then inhale, hand comes to head. Release, take a breath in. Exhale, you lift. Draw the right hand up, pull the right fingers towards the ceiling, squeeze the block, lift through the tailbone, lengthen through the tailbone, collect the core together, then inhale back to centre, release. Two more times, adding on. Exhale, you lift. Left hand rises up. Bring the right hand up, grab hold of the left wrist like we did before and pull up, lift off the shoulder blades, breathing here, holding it here, squeezing here. Then inhale, basket the head, release. Exhale, you lift. Right hand lengthens, left hand lengthens, grab the wrist, pull away, draw the tummy in towards the spine, squeeze the block, lift the tailbone. And then inhale to centre, release. One more time, this time we're bringing a twist into it and it's a really um, minor movement, but you will feel it. So, take a breath in. Exhale, you lift, left hand lifts, right hand lifts. Take hold of the left wrist, pull up, 
twist over towards your left just a little bit keep pulling up through the left wrist holding here breathing here squeeze the block inhale back to center release exhale lift right hand lengthens left hand pull away pull into the wrist slight twist over to the right lift off the shoulder blade squeeze the block consolidating the core holding here then inhale back to center release wow that is hard to talk through that it's hard enough to do it okay so take a block just place it to the side of your mat bring your feet so they're mat distance apart then you're going to take your knees over to the left you're going to squeeze your right glute push down through the arch of your right foot and stretch into this right hip flexor again reach the arms overhead take hold of your right wrist and pull it away from you so you're really creating that length through the side body with this kind of simple movement of pulling through the wrist taking a moment to keep the glute on on that right side and then inhale through center and take the twist over to the left again having that activeness in the from the inside of the left foot squeezing that glute breathing into that left hip and then reaching up pulling up through that left wrist to create space through the whole of the side body feels so good okay inhale brings you to center take your hands to the back of your thighs and take some rock and rolls forwards and back until finally you're going to roll over your knees and let's step straight into downward facing dog take whatever movements you need here so maybe giving the head a little shake from side to side maybe pedaling the feet maybe swinging the hips from side to side do whatever you need to do and then when you're ready find some stillness spread the fingers on the mat push the floor away dial the hands out so you're securing through the shoulders having nice stability through the shoulder girdle lift the sit bones up as you draw your heels down remember it's absolutely to fine to have a bend in the knees think about keeping that nice neutral spine and then take a deep breath in and as you exhale lift your left hand and bring it towards your right thigh shin or ankle gazing underneath that right armpit keep pushing pushing away through the right hand and finding a twist here and then exhale your left hand comes down your right hand lifts and reverse the twist again don't try and yank yourself into this twist notice your muscles activating to help you get there and then dropping the hands you're going to tiptoe your feet all the way to the front of your mat coming to the top of your mat let's bring our feet hip distance apart take hold of either elbow and take a little sway from side to side coming back to that you alone are enough our mantra for class today our intention for class today remember that fact inhale lifting all the way up vertebrae by vertebrae head comes up last bring your toes together your heels slightly apart lift your toes spread your toes toe by toe little toe to big toe to hold down onto the mat feel that connection with the earth lift up through the arches feel that energy rising all the way through your body take a big breath in and let it go inhale arms rise gaze up exhale hinging from the hips hands to the earth inhale halfway gaze forward exhale plant the hands step back plank set the shoulder blades onto your back imagine you've got a block between the thighs and squeeze it so energizing the thighs in towards each other glutes are on core is on drop the knees chest chin all the way down to the mat and then inhale pull back cobra exhale hips to the sky downward facing dog again either finding some stillness or maybe finding a little bit of dynamic movement here to get the heart rate up a little bit you're going to exhale send your hips back towards the right side and as you inhale you're going to come into plank exhale sit back towards the heels keep strength through the hands inhale shift forward plank exhale he's um bum towards heels inhale plank last time exhale and then inhale plank 
exhale, send the hips up and back, and then inhale, step or jump to the front of the mat, long spine, exhale, fold, inhale, root to rise, coming all the way up, fingertips touch, exhale, hands to your heart, one more time, just like that, inhale, arms rise, length up, Exhale, everything hugging into midline as your hands float to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back plank. Lower, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga dandasana, you choose. Inhale, pull back, cobra, glutes are on. Exhale, hips to the sky. Big breath in, long breath out. And then maybe start to take those little movements again. Inhale, forward. Exhale back, inhale, shifting forward, exhale back, moving, breathing, connecting. Last time, send the hips up and back, and then step your feet, inhale to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold, inhale, coming all the way up, fingers touch, exhale, hands to your heart. So we're going to do one very long flow today, very twisty flow. Um, hope you guys enjoy it I, as much as I do it's fun it'll keep you guessing so from here bring your hands to your heart if they're not there take a big breath in and exhale let it go keep that connection to your breath to your body keep this connection right here in this room inhale sweep into your chair gaze between the hands hug everything to midline squeeze those glutes hold it here Option, no, let's all do this. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Big breath in. Exhale, rotate round to the right. Then your left elbow touches your right thigh. Again, don't crank it round to the outside. Keep it on top so your strength is holding you right there. Breathe the collarbones open and hold it here. Now the left knee wants to creep forward, bring it back. Keep squeezing the sit bones towards each other, squeezing the glutes, holding here for three, for two, and one. Inhale back to center, exhale, hands to heart. Big breath in, widen through the collarbones, then twist to the left. Right elbow to left knee, breathe the heart open. Holding it here, find that connection. You can even float the elbow off the knee. We'll do that next time. Hugging everything into that midline. Breathing here for three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to your chair. Exactly the same again. Hands to heart, twist to your right, and then bring that connection. Left elbow, right thigh. This time, bring your gaze down and see if you can lift your left foot off the floor. And then you're going to see if you can float that left foot back into a kind of floating, twisted warrior three. And then bring your knee in, inhale, exhale, shoot it back. Two more times, just like that. If you wobble, if you fall, know that it's okay. Just smile and try again. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward, last time. Exhale, bring it back, send the toes down and come into a twisted crescent lunge. Big breath in. As you exhale, your left hand comes by your right foot. Your right fingertips reach up. Keep the connection to your left glute. And that left hand pushes into the earth. Dial the hand out and pull it slightly back so this left shoulder blade feels really secure on your back. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, feel the strength in your legs. Hug the inner thighs towards each other. And then gently bring yourself up, twisted warrior two. Keep hugging the inner thighs in, your right hand goes back, your left hand reaches forward. Breathe, navel to spine, lift through the crown of the head. For three, for two, and one. Exhale, windmill your hands down, shoot the right leg back, three-legged plank. Now, inhale, exhale, right knee, left tricep, twist. Your right knee then comes underneath you, comes down underneath your right hip as your left arm lifts up. Your left foot can lift up too. If you're struggling for balance, this right leg can kickstand out. Big breath in. And then as you exhale, left hand comes down, back to three-legged plank. Right knee, left tricep twist. Right knee comes down. Inhale, lift up. 
by plank. And again, left hand down, right leg lifts, three-legged plank. Right knee left, tricep twist, right knee down, inhale, lift up. Let's hold it here. Bend the left leg in towards you. Take hold of the foot and pull the foot in towards your butt. So you're stretching along the front of your thigh, your quadricep muscle, and you can breathe the heart slowly up. And again, feeling that connection to the right hand, dialing the hand up, pulling it back towards you so your right shoulder blade is super secure on your back ribs. Holding here, breathing here. And then for a moment, maybe kick your foot into your hand, lift your heart up, and then exhale, release the foot down. Come back to three-legged plank. Can you lower from here all the way down onto your belly in one piece? Bring the arms back alongside you. Inhale, lift up, breathe up. <sighs> lift through the chest, broaden through the collarbones. Keep the connection to your core, wrap the glutes down. Hands come underneath, shoulders tuck the toes. Lift back up, three-legged dog. Right leg high to the sky. Step your right foot forward to the front of your mat. If you need one, grab a block. We're stepping straight into half moon. So the right fingers come down in front of the right foot. Ground down through the left foot, lifting up. Left toes flexed and pointing towards the left. Length through the side body. Feel that strength in your core. Lift through that left leg. <laughs> you can see mine was so lazy then. Breathe here, find that strength. And then exhale, start to close your hips to the floor and gently bring that left foot underneath you and crossing behind your right. So your feet are next to each other but your left leg is crossed behind your right. Bring your hands down to the mat onto a block. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Now squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, your sit bones towards each other and then start to shimmy from side to side. And this should be feel really nice in the back body, opening up the fascia in the back body. It might feel a little bit crackly, that's okay. Just do what feels good here. Breathing for a moment more, breathing into that back chain. Three, two, and one. Slowly send that left leg back where it came from, opening up Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, left toes towards the left side of the room. This time maybe testing your balance, seeing if you can lift your right fingertips off the floor. Holding for three, for two, there, start bending into that right knee, come down, warrior two, front knee over ankle, front toe, front foot pacing forward, back foot parallel to the edge of the mat. Inhale, flip the palm, reverse, and exhale, windmill down, so you're back in that twist that we were in near the beginning of the flow. Left glute is on, left hand firmly pushing into the floor. Either stay here or step your right foot all the way over, wild thing, or dancer's table. Keep the shoulder over the wrist, ground down through that left hand, squeeze the glutes, lift up through the hips, breathe the chest open, three, two, and one. Exhale, slowly, everyone, step back, downward facing dog. And exactly as we did at the start, bend your knees, send the hips over to the right. Inhale, shift forward, plank. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, right. Inhale, forward. Exhale, right. Inhale, forward. <clears throat> You're going to come into dolphin now. So see if you can drop both forearms at a time onto the mat as you lift your hips high. Either have the hands parallel or bring them together and maybe step the toes in a little bit. And again, bend your knees as much as you need to to get that nice neutral spine. And you're gonna puff up through the back body, pushing through the forearms, holding here, strength here, pulling the abdominals for three, breathing in for two, and for one, drop the knees for a moment. Reach the arms forward, child's pose. Come back to that breath. Come back to that intention. You alone are enough. Big breath in and release. And then slowly shift forward into a forearm plank. 
Again, you can have the hands parallel or you can cross the palms together. Oh, can't get into that. Okay, notice your bum wants to come too high. So bring it in line with the shoulders, set the shoulder weights onto the back, pull back with the hands, push down through the hands, and then exhale, send the hips over to the right as you come onto the sides of your feet. Inhale back to center, exhale to left. Two more times. Exhale, inhale, center, exhale, left, inhale, center, core strong, glutes on, inhale, center, exhale, left, inhale, center, then bring the hips down, sphinx pose, close your eyes for a moment, ground down through the forearms, pull back, so you're kind of pulling your chest through your arms, wrap the glutes down and keep the core connected, push down through the tops of the feet and breathe here, four, three, Pull two and one. Slowly come on to your belly all the way down. And you're going to lift back into locust, but we're going to do slightly different this time. So inhale, lift the legs, lift the upper body. Reach back, but then inhale, reach the right arm forward as your left arm reaches back. Holding here for three. Breathing here, core engaged for two and one. Hands come underneath shoulders. Now, we're going to lift up into fallen triangle. If you know what that means, then please go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, I'm going to cue you. So, either pushing up into plank on your knees or on your toes. Lift your right leg high. Take the right knee towards the left tricep like you did at the start. And then see if you can extend the leg. You can either bring it down onto the floor or lift it high. Holding here for three, for two, and one, inhale, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the shoulder blades nice and all the shoulders nice and square. Lift up through the lower belly. Hug the front ribs in towards the back body. Big breath in. And then exhale, step that right foot forward. Bring your hands really lightly onto your thighs, so your core is basically supporting you here rather than pushing into the hands. Slowly start to shift forward, lifting the left leg, and then come up, but still have a bend in your knee. Keep your right hand on your right thigh, and take your left foot in your hand as you bend the knee. Push into the right thigh with the hand, straightening that leg, and when you're there, push into your left hand with your left foot. Dancer's pose, maybe reaching that right arm forward. That left glute is on. Breathe the heart open for three, for two, and one. Gently let go of your left foot. Your right hand comes behind you. Your left hand reaches out in front. Twisted dancer. Breathing here again for three, for two, and one, your left fingers come to the floor in front of your right foot. Your left leg extends behind you and your right fingertips either stay on your hip or reach up, twisted half moon. Holding here, breathing here, grab a block if you need one. And then exhale, drop the toes down, drop the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Long breath out. Next inhale, you're going to tiptoe your feet to the front of your mat. Coming all the way up, inhale halfway, exhale fold. Inhale, root to rise, coming all the way up, fingers touch, exhale, and to your heart. Now, I told you it was a long sequence on one side. Let's try, let's try it on the left. And again, notice, notice how it will feel different on the left side to your right. And that's okay. We all have this asymmetry in our body. Okay, one more time. Let's take a big breath in. And let it go. Inhale, sweep into your chest. Squeeze the knees towards each other. Gaze up between the hands. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And twist, rotate over to your left. Your right elbow reaches your left thigh. That right knee wants to creep forward, that's okay. Just make sure you try and keep it back as much as you can. Breathe the heart open, the broaden through the collarbones. Holding here, breathing here, hug everything into midline. And then inhale back to your chair, 
exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, rotate to your right. Left elbow meets right thigh. Hold it here, maybe hovering it off like we did on the other side. Breathing here, finding length through the spine and thinking about that spiral staircase rotation. And then last time, inhale, back to your chair. Hands come to your heart. Rotate over to the left, bring that right elbow to the left thigh and now bring your gaze down to the floor. Step onto your left foot, so much so your right foot lifts. Exhale, shoot that leg back. Inhale, bring it in. The trick is your left glute is super fiery. Ground down through your right foot and also keep that connection to your core. Last time, inhale in. Exhale, shoot it back. Step it down, twisted, crescent. Hold it for a moment here, hug the inner thighs in and then release, bring your right hand down by your left foot and come into that twist. That right hand grounds down, dials out, pulls back towards you, feel really secure, stable in that shoulder. Hug the inner thighs in, squeeze that right glute. And then find that energy in your legs and see if you can lift all the way up into that twisted warrior two. Grow tall through the crown of the head, hug the inner thighs in towards each other, your left arm reaches back as your right arm reaches forward. One more breath, and exhale, we move the hands. Step back, three-legged plank. Breathing in, exhale, right knee, left knee, right tricep. Your knee comes underneath you, you lift up, modify side plank. And again, hand comes down, right foot comes down, left foot lifts, breathe in. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Left knee comes underneath the hip, lift up. Breathe the body open. Last time, right hand comes down, kick the left leg back, inhale. Exhale, twist. Left knee to the floor, underneath the hip, and open your body up. Coming into that modified side plank, Grab the right foot, bring it in towards the butt and pull the foot back to breathe into that right quadricep, the front of that right thigh. Holding it here, breathing the heart up, breathing the collarbones open. For three, two, one, and then just for a breath, maybe push away, breathe the heart up, kick the foot into the hands, and then exhale. Come back to that three-legged plank and lower all the way down onto your belly. Arms reach back, inhale, lift up cobra, draw the glutes down, breathe the chest forward, the core hugs in, reaching back, lifting up, shoulder blades squeeze together, down, exhale, bring the hands to the floor. You're gonna push up into a three-legged dog, either through kneeling plank or regular plank, your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot forward towards our under Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So if you need one, remember, a block is your friend. It doesn't make things easier, it can just make the pose feel so much more accessible, so much better. Breathing into the side body, keeping that connection to the core, breathing open to the right, Left foot grounds down, ground down to lift up, and then start to close. Whoa, I've lost my balance. Close your hips towards the floor, and your right leg comes, crosses behind your left, and your back into that little funny cross leg. Again, remember you can bend your knees as much as you need. Grab a block if you need to as well, and then take a little shimmy from side to side. Freeing up that fascia in the back, being mindful if you're moving your pelvis, try and keep your pelvis and your legs stable and it's just your upper back that's moving. One more little wiggle and then lift fingers, come down and you're gonna lift back into your half moon. Keep that energy flying through the body, keep strong, open to the side and maybe lift your left fingers off the mat for three, for two, and one, slowly bring your right foot down, open up, warrior two. Breathe length through the crown of the head, 
that feeling of grounding down to lift up, send the energy through your body. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse. Exhale, windmill the hands, your right hand comes down by your left foot and you're back to that twist. Holding here, breathing here, option to stay here. Find that connection with the ground with your hand, push into the floor, dial out, pull back and then see if you can flip into wild thing. Keep the shoulder over the wrist, breathe the heart up, lift up. Glutes are active, breathing open that anterior pelvis, the front of the pelvis, for three, for two, and one. Slowly make your way from wherever you are into downward facing dog. One more time, it needs a little kind of side to side. Your left hips come down, inhale, come forward. That made no sense, you know what I mean. Bend into your knees, hips to the right. Inhale forward, one more time, both sides, exhale. Inhale forward, exhale right. Inhale forward, then slowly drop onto the forearms, taking your dolphin pose. Breathing here, lifting up through the sit bones, grounding down through the forearms, puff up through the back body. Draw the front ribs into the back body for three, for two, and one. Send the knees down, take the forehead down, reach your fingers forward and bring your focus into the ribs on the back of your body. Breathe them up towards the ceiling. In these moments of rest that the real yoga starts and you notice where your mind wants to go to, can you gently bring it back into the present moment? Inhale, you're going to shift back into that forearm plank of your choice. Either hands together or arms parallel. Ground down through the forearms. Bring your hips in level with the shoulders, your glutes are on. Exhale, hips to the right. Inhale, forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, forward. Oblique firing the whole of the core. Feeling super powerful right now. One more time. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale to centre, then bring the hips down, sphinx pose, elbows, hand and knees, shoulders, arms parallel, pull back with the hands, they're not actually moving but you'll feel that lovely opening through the heart space, breathe into the heart space, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down, wrap the glutes down, push through the tops of the feet, big breath in, exhale, come down onto your belly, we're so nearly there guys, Bring the arms alongside you, breathe in, lift up, locust. Next, inhale, your left arm reaches forward as your right arm reaches back. Feel that little bit more lift. Keep the connection to your core, keep the connection to your glutes. Lift up, breathe up, three, two, and one. Gently for a moment, rest your head onto your hands. And now we move back into that fallen triangle. So when you're ready, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes or lifting onto your knees, lift up, three-legged plank, left leg lifts, left knee to right tricep twist, bring the right arm up, lengthen through that left leg, either bringing it to the ground or lifting up, lift the side waist away from the floor, connect to the core, energy through the legs for three, for two, and one, exhale, hand comes down, left leg reaches high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the shoulders nice and square. Breathe into that front of that left hip. Hugging the ribs in towards the back body. And then exhale, step the left foot forward. And like on the other side, bring your hands to rest on your left thigh. Gently lift up warrior three, hands still on your thigh. Keep the left knee a little bit bent. Take that right foot in towards you. Take hold of it with your right hand. Push into the foot, into the, the left hand pushes into the thigh. Kick back with the right hand and maybe reach that left arm forward, dancer's pose. Try and keep the pelvis nice and square. Breathing for three, lifting through the heart, through the crown of the head for two. And one, let go of the foot. Take the left hand behind you, the right arm forward, twisted, 
dancer. Breathe up, lift up. And exhale, take your right hand down again. Grab a block if you have one. Find that little bit more space. Lift your right leg behind you. Keep the pelvis nice and square and lift the left arm high or keep it on your hip. Breathing into the side of that left hip for three. Hug the belly in two <laughs> and one. Bring the toes down. Bring the hands down. Bend the knees and straight away hop to come and sit on your mat. That's like, that's not an easy flow, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a muddle, but I hope you had fun. We're just going to try one more fun thing now. And again, there are options. So if you don't want to get on your hands, that's fine. I think it's going to be easiest if I face you. So <clears throat> you're going to bring your left foot, bend the knee and bring the left foot by the right hip and step the right leg over. And let's take a twist first. So again, thinking axial extension, right fingertips come behind you, and you're simply going to take a little hug to this right leg. So find that lift, and then find that rotation. Thinking about that staircase, that um, spiral staircase, so you're not cranking your neck round. The twist is coming all the way up through the spine. Big breath here. And release. So you can take a little candy twist and then you can either do exactly that same thing again or we're going to have a lot of fun with the balance. You're going to plant your hands down onto your mat. It's a bit confusing because you're crossed over but your right leg here is against your left upper arm and then the easier way of doing it is bringing your right elbow in towards your um, hip. And then you're going to plant your hands down, shoulder distance apart, tip the weight forward, hug the inner thighs in, squeeze in and lift up. <laughs> That's just burning there. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Into a side crow. So, thanks, buds. Good to see you for a walk. Lovely. Okay. So that's option one. Option two is not to have that connection with the elbow and your hip. So your left upper arm is still against your leg. You're still hugging your inner thighs in towards each other, but you're gonna shift the weight forward and see if you can keep that right elbow drawing in, but there's no connection you'll see between my right hip and my right elbow. Have a little play around. Option to just stay in that twist as you were before. And just take a moment. Once you've had that little play, come back to center and you're going to switch it out. So your right foot comes by your left hip, your left foot ste steps over the top, bring your left fingertips behind you, hug that right knee in so you're not cranking, find that extension through the spine on the inhale and find that little bit of rotation on the exhale. Keep long in the spine, breathing here, three, two, and one. Let's take a little counter twist. Remember, you can stick with exactly what we just did, or you can try it on the other side. So you want, you do want to think about your bandhas. I should have said this on the other side. So lifting up through the pelvic floor, Milabanda, hugging navel to spine. But what really helps for me to do that is to hug the inner thighs in. We have this connection between our inner thighs and our deep core muscles. We are all connected. So you're going to place your hands to the outside over to the left, right upper arm into thigh. Remember, you can tuck this left elbow into the hip or you can try balancing just on their own. Squeeze the inner thighs in towards each other. Feel that lift. Play with that kind of seesaw effect balance. And then when you're ready, gently bring yourself back to earth. Moment here. Well, you can feel free to carry on playing. For everyone else who's ready to come down, let's take a little bit of Kanasana first. Bring your feet in towards each other, the soles of your feet, your knees hang heavy. Take your feet like a book. Inhale, breathe the chest open and exhale. Take a fold, hinging from the hips, melting over the legs, closing your eyes. It does not matter what it looks like. Maybe your stretch is all the way up there. That is fine. Just notice, connect. Notice how it feels in your body. Yoga is about this connection, this unity, and let's, let's connect to ourselves. Inhale brings you all the way up. 
plant your feet onto the mat and exhale, roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down onto your back and then hug the knees in, give yourself a massive squeeze, inhale and then take your knees over to the left hand side as your gaze comes to the right, back to this supine twist like we did at the beginning, use your right hand into, your left hand even, even, even into your right knee, you can push one against the other, just stretching into that left hip, right hip even more. Gosh, I'm sorry, I'm getting my words in this confused. Ooh, inhale, back to centre and exhale. Take it to the other side. Breathing into the heart space, pushing through the right hand into the left knee, opening through that left hip. And start to absorb your practice. Slowing everything down, thanking your body for the strength it's shown today. Inhale through centre. And when you're ready, gently bring your legs down into Shavasana. Heels mat distance apart, let the hands come really far up from your body. Turn the palms to face the ceiling, let the fingers curling, curl in naturally. And here I want you to take a massive breath in. And exhale, let it go. One more time, big breath in and exhale, release. And you are going to slow now. And you're going to stop any control on the breath and simply be its witness. I've lost the reading that I was gonna to read to you, so I'm gonna read you another one instead. You may have heard me read it before, but it's about connection, which, which is what we've been doing today. My lovely friend Mario wrote this, or a version of this. So, tuning in. In order to find peace, love and belonging, we must find these things within ourselves first. Inside of us lives two voices, one that uplifts and empowers, one that limits and belittles. The one we end up listening to is the one we feed the most. Those of us that dream big and pursue our purpose are often the ones that encounter life's greatest obstacles. Life challenges us so, so, so that we may become the people that we need to be for the life that we want to live. Our struggles have purpose. Every experience is an opportunity to grow. So dream big without boundaries. Choice is the most powerful thing that we own. Embrace the journey you're on. Know that there will be messy parts. Trust the process and know that at any point you can choose to change direction. We are the authors of our own narrative and our stories matter. Our ability to share our story helps us forge connection. Connect with who you are. Connect with those around you. Connect with the moments that matter. Connect with the life you want to be living. Now guys, please feel free to stay as long as you wish here in Shishabhasana. Maybe that's five minutes, maybe you have 15 minutes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Please, any questions you have, drop them in the comments. Thank you so much. Namaste.